La route est dure, la vie est morne, mon âme est sûre d'aucune bande. Que dois-je faire avec ma vie quand toute la terre est Uh, Thank Mr. you. Uh, Mr. Oh. Monsieur Delarue. <coughs> well, now, Monsieur Delarue, I assume you wish to take advantage of our service. Yes. You're aware of our regulations. Our society is only allowed to make loans to government employees. Yes, I think I fit into that category. I'm a philosopher teacher. You are. Splendid. I'm particularly happy to be of assistance to university men. You teach. At a lycée? Yes, a lycée Buffon. Excellent. Very good. Well, we just better get the usual little formalities over, shall we? I shall have to ask you for some form of identification. Anything will do. A passport, army pay book, voter's card. Thank you. Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes, that's all in order. Good. Now then, what is the exact sum which you would like to... I'd like 5,000 francs. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, no. Let's say 6,000. 6,000. You know our conditions. We loan money for six months, and only six months, and owing to the heavy overheads and the considerable risk involved, we are obliged to ask 20% interest. Per annum? No, for the um, six months. Hmm? Yes. Yes, all right. Good. Now it's Monsieur Delarue. Christian names? Mathieu. Mathieu. Thank you. Address? 12 rue Wiens. That's in the 14th, isn't it? Yes. Profession teacher, Lycée Buffon. Place of birth? Paris. And the date? 17th of March, 1904. Your father's nationality? French. And your mother's? French. Well, that's done. If you would just sign here, please. Well, simple as that. As simple as that. When the money comes through, you'll be asked to sign for it over a stamp. The stamp, of course, will be your liability. Um, when the money comes through? You're not going to pay me now? Well, here, this minute. Yes. <laughs> Monsieur, we shall need at least a fortnight to make our inquiries. What inquiries? Ah, uh, yes. You university men. You're all the same. All idealists. Oh, please understand that in this particular case I don't doubt your word, but speaking generally, what proof do we have that the identification papers you've shown us aren't false? I'm afraid those who deal with money inevitably become rather suspicious. It's deplorable, I agree, but we've no right to be trusting. So, there we are. We have to conduct our little inquiry. We shall address ourselves directly to your ministry. Oh, nothing to worry about. We shall proceed with all due discretion. But um, you know official them as well as I do. I very much doubt if we should be in a position to help you much before, uh, let's see now, July the 5th. That's, that's no good. Hmm? Oh, I, it's urgent. I need the money this evening, or tomorrow at the latest. <laughs> Monsieur. Now, uh, look, um, say I were to pay you a higher rate of interest. Monsieur, we are not common money lenders. Our society has the full encouragement of the Ministry of Public Assistance. We might almost describe ourselves as an official body. Our rates of interest are firmly fixed on the basis of our expenses and the risks involved. We don't go in for private transactions. You've studied our literature, I assume? No, I came on impulse. Ah, well, shall we tear the form up, then? Oh, uh, no, no, don't do that. Um, no, I'll think of something to tide me over. Good. It's only a fortnight or so, and I doubt you'll find a friend who'll... Uh... Um, no doubt. This is your permanent address? Yes. Well, then, at the beginning of July, we shall send you a reminder. Mm, thank you. Well, I'm glad to be of service to you. Oh, goodbye, monsieur. Goodbye. See you again in July, then. Ah. Has she managed it? Oh, God, she must have done. 
He'll agree. He's sure to agree. Hello? Hello? Sara? Hello, yes. This is Faye Muller. Oh, uh, this is Mathieu Delaru. Could I speak to Sara? Mm, she's gone out. Oh, damn. You know when she'll be back? I don't know. You want me to take a message for you? Um, no. No, just tell her I call. Thank you. Goodbye. That's that, then. If he won't give me credit, I'll marry her. My life's no longer my own. It's heads or tails, whatever happens to me now. Oh, no, it isn't. Whatever happens must be decided by me. I'm free. Free to accept, free to refuse, free to marry, free to give in, free to run away. My damnation will be of my own choosing. I'm condemned forever to be free. Monsieur de la Rue, an express for you. Just come. Plowed, who cares, Ivich? Not bad news, I hope. Hmm? You look all upset. Uh, student I know has failed the exams. Oh, they're failing a lot nowadays, from what I hear. Yes, true. And them that pass. Are there jobs for them? Um, exactly what I say. Ah, well then. Uh, Madame Galinet. Monsieur Delarue? Could, uh, could you lend me 50 francs? Hard up. Till I get to the bank. Hmm? Well, let me see then. I've only got a hundred. Now, you must bring me the change this evening. Right. Thanks. And is that all? That's all. Oh, monsieur. Thank you, madame. Oh. Plowed, who cares? She's going to do something stupid. I must find her, and quick. Why have you come back? You've forgotten something? No, my dear. No. For you. Oh, for me? I'm so happy for you and Mathieu. I simply cannot get the pair of you out of my mind. When he calls on you tonight, I want you to wear a rose in your hair. Oh, Daniel, how lovely of you. Only, please don't tell Mathieu that I've suggested. Of course. You understand me? I want a token of myself in the midst of your joy. Daniel, you are the most wonderful friend. <laughs> You know, I'm almost tempted to ask you if I could hide myself somewhere in your room. <laughs> I should have such pleasure in observing the ecstasy of your reconciliation. Oh, Daniel, my archangel, you make everything sound so pure and innocent. But it is innocent. When Mathieu comes to you tonight, don't allow him to reason or argue with you. Say it all with your bodies, please. Words are treacherous, but the ache within you soothed away by the tenderness of touch by the passion which leads to oblivion. How superior to words. You sound as though you... May I ask you? Yes? Have you ever had a mistress? You want the truth? Please. I haven't. And yet you know. We all have imaginations. Oh, but the things that you imagine... So good, so lovely. You know, sordid thoughts or encounters for you. <sighs> I am right, you know. About what? You are as near to a saint as a man could ever be. Oh, you embarrass me. But it's true. You too, Marcel, have a spirituality about you. Only when I'm with you. Not at all. <laughs> when you and Mathieu make love tonight, you will be fully aware of the rightness and the righteousness of it. You carry his child, and Mathieu, like the prodigal son, returns to the feast of your loving and generous flesh, his home. Oh, you make it all sound so beautiful. Then, would you let me hide somewhere and observe you? Oh, oh Daniel, did you really mean it? Oh, you are innocence itself. I mean, it, it couldn't be, my dear. I'd be so self-conscious. <laughs> my dear girl, you believed me. No, no, I was only talking in the abstract, exploring the principle that my joy is your joy in all situations. Besides, I have other things to do this evening. Oh, what? But I really could do with a workout. Mm -hmm. well, an hour or two of physical fitness in the gymnasium. 
It's wonderful the way you keep yourself in trim. <laughs> well, it's a need with me. Well, goodbye, Marcel. I wish you all joy and rapture. Dear Daniel, my archangel. <laughs> So, they recognize his right to sit beside her, do they? I give you a kiss. Oh, do you mind? Hey, where are you going? He's running away, because I promised to kiss him. My dear, you didn't promise. You threatened. Well, I'm not going to kiss you, see? I'm going to kiss Irma. Oh. My dearest image, you want to kiss me? Uh, Passionately. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, 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 very good. You taste the cashews. You rich. Oh, it's you. Look at that. You still got yours on, but then, of course, you are such a careful man. <laughs> Take me away from here. I feel degraded. But oh, look at us. We didn't get her drunk. We tried to stop her. Oh, you're all such goody-goodies, aren't you? Except me, Ivich. Except me. Except you. <laughs> you're just an old lecher. <laughs> 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 You're coming home with me. Oh, am I? Need to lie down. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Come in. Well, if it isn't Monsieur Dunny. Oh, do come in, Monsieur. <laughs> How do you like our new premises? Bobby told me he'd given you our address. It's hot. Yes. We're right under the roof here. Uh, helps to sweat it out of you, that's what I always say. Well, Monsieur. Wash. In a hurry, Monsieur. Wash. Finicky as usual, are we? Wash! Yourself. Agreed, monsieur. Here. You're right. This is where you live. Yes. Hmm. We must lie down. Um, yeah. How do you feel? I'm well, quite sober now, but my head's throbbing a bit, that's all. I'll get you some tea. I'm cold. What? Oh, I'm sorry. You'd like some tea, wouldn't you? How young she is. So fragile, helpless. That's my joy in her. She's a child and I must help her to live. I love her. I love 
her wretchedness. I love that sick, frail body. Love isn't an ecstasy, not for me. Its magic lies in the certainty of disaster. I don't like it. What? Your flat. Yeah, so I thought, if you're feeling better, we can go out. Where to? Anywhere. No, I'm glad to be here. Are you? Cafes are such nightmares. All those people going round and round and round you. Yes. It's ugly here, but it's quiet. I'll make the tea. Tea? You? You don't know how to. I'll make you some Russian tea. And I shall need a samovar. Oh, uh, sorry, I haven't got one. Uh, boil water in a saucepan. Oh dear, it comes from Ceylon. Still, can't be helped. You stay there. I'm not leaving here until midnight. Aren't you? When there's nobody about, I hate people. You stay as long as you like. No one's likely to call. If they do, we shan't open the door. No, I'm free the entire evening. That's not true. Marcel is expecting me at 11. Well, let her wait. <clears throat> we must let it stand for a bit first. Naturally. Did, uh, have you decided yet what you're going to do? I'm catching a train midday tomorrow. You phoned your parents? No. No, I... Boris wanted to, but I wouldn't let him. You'd be telling them yourself? That I failed, yes. I'll come and see you there. At Lau? Mm. <laughs> no, it's deadly. Mm. Well, when, are you, when are you coming back to Paris? Never. Oh, you could have another try. Your parents you can't don't be... You know so... them. Well, they won't ruin your whole life just because you failed a single exam. No, no, they won't dream of punishing me. No, it'll be worse than that. They'll lose interest in me. I shall be ignored. Still, that's what I deserve. Nobody will give me a job, so I shall stay in Laon all my life and rot. Oh, don't do that. You hate Laon. I loathe it. You'll come back, I swear. You'll be here by October. And in the meantime, I'll, uh, I'll arrange something for you. But I've just told you I'm incapable of learning a job. Yeah, no, that's, that's not what I was going to say. Um, would you let me help you? By October, I shall have a little money. That's impossible. Uh, listen, every summer, my brother and his wife invite me to their villa. I've never been, but I must accept some time. And if I go, I shall save money. Now, don't refuse. It'll be a loan, that's all. Well, don't look at me like that. I'd better get back to the hostel. Ivich, why won't you accept? I'm not taking your money. You take money from your parents. Well, that's different. Yes, it is different. You've told me over and over again you despise them. I've no need to be grateful to them. Do you, th do you think I want to put you under an obligation? A kept woman? No, that's offensive. I don't think that. I think you're taking pity on me, that's all. No, I'm not taking well, pity on you. Well, then why do you offer me money? Because I can't bear the idea of never seeing you again. You mean... Your motives are purely selfish. You're purely selfish. I must see you again, that's all. Well, perhaps I will. Does it matter where money comes from? <laughs> well, what will you tell your parents? Oh, who cares? I shan't be a financial burden to them anymore, so what does it matter? But you will be going back to see them. Tomorrow. And then return? Maybe yes. Maybe no. The tea should be ready by now. I'll, uh, I'll write to you. Oh, me too. Only I'll have nothing to say. Oh, well, describe your house, your, your room. Oh, God, not that. It's bad enough living in the place. A peculiar tea you have. 
<laughs> Come on, are you going to answer it? Oh, we agreed not to open the door. Oh, but you must. You must open the door. It might be important. Open the door, quick. Oh. oh, you do keep me on the go, don't you? Vaimala told me you'd phone, so I dashed round. I didn't even stop to put on a hat. Sarah, I've got someone here. Oh, it's a bitch, Seguin. Oh, dear me, what a pale little thing you are. You're working too hard. Now then, Mathieu, I spent most of the day chasing after Dr. Waldman. He's not been in Paris three weeks, and he's embroiled in shady deal after shady deal. It was six o'clock before I could get home. Oh, of him. How, how kind of you, Sarah. I am uh, grateful. Don't talk about it now. Would you like some tea? I'm sorry, I can't even sit down. I must dash along to the left wing bookshop. A friend of my husband has just arrived from Madrid. You'll have news of Gomez. <laughs> well, that's what I hope. And now then, my dear, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Yes. Valdman refuses. Ah, yeah. Well, you'd uh, like a word in private, Madame. Well, it's hardly worthwhile. I've almost nothing to tell you. I pressed him as hard as I could. Hopeless. The um, person in question must be at his place tomorrow morning with the money or nothing doing. Ah, oh, well. Uh, can't be helped. Uh, don't let's talk about it now. Mm -hmm. I did everything I could. I begged him to agree, but is she a Jewess? Well, I had to say no. Then he said, why help them? I'll only put her right if I have the cash. There are plenty of expensive clinics in Paris she can apply to. Oh, but the man is bitter. Bitter. Give them credit. Me? Never. They're having us tortured in the concentration camps, but do any of them lift a hand? French? English? Why not? Better for business to ignore it. Right. I do the same. Unless the woman gives me money, I don't care what kind of a mess she gets into. But I can understand his attitude. His father. His two brothers. They've been taken. So, uh, what, what will you do? I don't know. You're not thinking... Yes, yeah, so that's how it land. Oh, my dear. It... Well, I must go. Give me a ring tomorrow morning. Tell me how things are. I'd like I'll to know. I'll do that. Goodbye, Sarah. Goodbye, Vich. Goodbye, madame. Hey, Rich, I'm going to marry Marcel. Two days ago, she informed me she was pregnant. Why tell me? That's your business. Now, well, you knew she was... Your mistress, I am not interested in that sort of thing. And it's no good putting on that face. If you marry her, it's because you want to. Want to? I can't raise the money for an abortion. I've tried everywhere. So that's why Boris tried to get money out of Lola. He was doing it for you. Yes. How sordid. Still, that's none of my concern. What time is it? Quarter to nine. Oh, well. There are people about, but one can always avoid them. You're going? I've got all my packing to do. Well, goodbye. I'll see you in October. What, after this? <laughs> Good heavens, no. Oh, do excuse me. I, I have no intention of taking your money. You'll need all you've got for starting up the family household. Don't touch me! Yesterday morning, when you had the insolence to kiss me, I said to myself, that is the action of a lecherous, jaded, married man. Shut up! Shut up! All right. All right. All right! Where am I rushing? Rushing to Marcel, am I? Mm -hmm. I'm rushing from that one up there. Oh, God. Women, women, women. Look at me. A clumsy, bloody heap on a staircase in between one shabby passion and another. Lola's key. This is the answer. 
Go to her flat and steal the money. It's easy. She won't be there. She'll be at the nightclub. Yes. Steal the money and give it to Marcel. Her pregnancy will be ended. Aborted. Then I'm free. Free of women. Free of responsibilities. I can be myself. Right. I'll do it. Haven't you a clean towel? Sorry. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Ten hours to kill before it's daylight. I can't go to bed, not after one of these little sessions. It upsets me too much. I think I'll take a stroll. Hmm. I feel like bashing somebody up. I'm in the mood. Careful who you pick on, won't you? Why do you say that? You might get yourself hurt. Me? Hurt? Yeah. You want to have a talk with a waiter at the Oriental? You do, he'll tell you. A big chap was in there one night. Works at the slaughterhouse, big, massive. Anyway, he didn't like the look of me. Wanted to have me thrown out. I said, come outside, I said, come outside. And I set about him proper. I gave him one in the eye to start off with, bang. So he comes back wild. I knocked down his garden, give me elbow right in across the face, bang. Right across the bridge of his nose. Oh, mad, he was mad. He starts using his feet, so I give him the knee jab right into the crutch. And down he grows, groaning, bent double. Oh, I left him pissing blood. I'd like to kill him. It would be beautiful killing him. Mind how you throw your weight about, won't you? You'll get what's coming to you one of these days. Me? <laughs> There's nobody can frighten me. A typical butch queer with his strong man act. Worse than the female queer with her tatting and her housework. It's all acting. Let's have some fun. Let's take him for real, shall we? So you're frightened of nobody, then? But nobody. Right. Show me how strong you are. Come on. I want your best. You want some more fun. <laughs> You're a glutton, you are. You want some more fun, only uh, gently like it. Eh? Oh, we've stopped playing at it. Real thing this time. Real thing? No holes barred. Now look, no dirty business. You'll get the best of it, you know, you'll be sorry. That has yet to be proved, my little darling. Oh! So, we're not playing games after all. Right you are. I'm too old for it. I'm making myself ridiculous. All right. I must finish it before he does for me. Queen. I give in. Submit! Yes, darling. <sighs> well, you're a real killer, Ducky, when you put your mind to it, aren't you? Well, let's be frank. You're out of condition, dear. Come and see me more often, why don't you, eh? You need regular exercise. Yeah.
Goodbye, monsieur. Do come again soon. Monsieur, where are you going, monsieur? What's the name of Lola's neighbor, the Negro? Bolivar, that's it. I'm uh, going to see Monsieur Bolivar on the third floor. Well, why were you nosing round this keyboard? I was going to see if his key was there. Well, isn't it? No, he's in. Oh, God, let's hope he is. It's a 50-50 chance. Yes, you'll find him in. Thank you, madame. How much further do we have to go? It's on the fourth floor. It's a long way up. I'll say. You <laughs> see, <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, madame. Good evening, monsieur. It must not happen again. Tonight must not happen again. Kill the beast. Kill the beast between your legs. Put an end to it. Right. The act is very simple. I shall probably bleed to death. I'll be found lying on the floor. And the beast will rest. A little knot of offal, peacefully in my hand. How pretty a picture. I like it. Well then, do it! What's wrong with me? I can't do it. Why not? Pain? I enjoy pain. I love it. Pain is exquisite. Why can't I do a simple thing like cutting it off then? Well, it is rather an important decision to make, isn't it? Death is the most important thing in life. Quite a thought, that. Good. 
then I mustn't do it with a desperate spontaneity, must I? My own mutilation and death? God, no. I must approach it delicately. I must savour it, relish it, as I would any other unique and lovely thing. Let's think of something else, shall we? It always helps. I shall then come back to the subject afresh. Set the mood, darling. Set the mood. Say a little bye bye to God's sweet air and his charming universe, shall we? Dear darling stars, you are all lifeless and inert, I'm sure of it. One day the earth is going to cool down and be like you. What's my difficulty then? One day the whole of space will be dead. Your twinkling will be no more because there will be no living eye to see it. Right! Danielle, take a leap into the future and kill yourself. Be nothing. Oh, God, you're still on your morbid stint. Stop it. You were going to change the subject. Well, do. You must think of something else. Think, think, think. Ah, got it. Mathieu, give him his 4,000 francs. After I'm dead, I shall become an eternal enigma in his mind. He'll ask himself, why did I do it? Right. There now. I feel so much better for that. There you are then. There lies the razor, inert, inanimate like the rest of the room. And here is your hand, living, controlled by you. All you have to do is the act. That's all, the simple act. We'll count up to five, shall we? A simple, straightforward operation. Here goes. One. Two. Three. Four, five. What's wrong? Why can't I? What stops me? Everything is dead. That's why. The room, the stars, the razor, all is lifeless. I alone am alive. I alone am free to act. Freedom to act! It must be preserved! Darling. Oh. Hello. 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 Oh, you're so hot. Oh, you frightfully gazing. Am I? 
Mm. <laughs> That's it, shall we? What have you done to your hand? Oh, I cut myself. Oh, darling, it looks horrible. You should be bandaged. It was. Um, only uh, fell down. Oh, fell down? Mm. Oh. It started to throb, so I took it off. We'll have to look after it, won't we? What's wrong with her? It must be the heat. Oh, well. I'd better respond. It's expected. Are you longing for it as I am? Oh, of course. <sighs> oh, darling. <sighs> Were you in a fight? Me? God, no. Well, how did it happen? It was uh, last night at the Sumatra. That's where you were. Boris brought a knife. He challenged me to stick it into my hand. And you obliged? <laughs> you are completely dotted. Yeah, I give it to me. Was Ivich there? Uh, when I cut myself? Mm hmm. No. No, she was dancing with Lola. <laughs> well, did you have a good time? Oh, not bad. You must take me there sometime. Sumatra? Hmm, why not? Be exhausted by it. Did I? Mm. Well, I wouldn't want to make it a regular thing, but... just once. After all, it's been ages since we went out together. Good God. That's what you say when you're married. She looks on us as married, all but the wedding ring and the nuptial mass. Well, we'll soon put a stop to that. Well, uh, I won't be able to take you out for at least a month. The Sumatra closes next week for its summer break. Yeah. You sound a bit annoyed with me. I do? Hmm. Oh, you're thinking about the last time you were here. I was a bit tiresome, I agree. Still. It's not every day of the week that a woman has to tell her lover she's pregnant. Yes, I know. I know. Yes. All my fault. Oh, my dear, dear love, it's not your fault. You must never blame yourself. We are expecting a child. That's all there is to it. Look. What? Four thousand francs. Oh? Troubles are over. You'll be in safe hands now. He only deals with wealthy patients, society women. But I thought... Oh, God. Les mains s'étendent de toutes côtés Les chiens sont lourds de... The road to freedom continues next on BBC Four. Hey! 